The Passion of the Lord, according to St. Luke, that we just heard, is primarily about mercy. And the theme of mercy rises very strongly to the surface as we reach the end of Luke's narrative. Jesus says, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And it's very interesting, Pope John Paul the Great, commenting on that passage, said, perhaps even the most hardened sinner does not lie outside the reach of Christ's outstretched hands on the cross. Perhaps even the most hardened sinner knows not what he does. And Jesus says, Father, forgive them. And then to the good thief who repents and asks for the gift of the kingdom, Jesus says, today, Today you will be with me in paradise. Jesus is on the cross as he pours out his life, as he pours out his precious blood and allows his body to be broken. Jesus is flooding the world with the mercy of the Father. It's simply what he is doing. It's all about mercy. And it is mercy that changes the world. Our Holy Father, Pope Benedict, this morning was commenting on that verse from the Gospel reading as we blessed the palms where the people were crying out, Peace in heaven and glory to God in the highest. And Benedict commented, Isn't it interesting that peace is mentioned as of heaven and glory to God in the highest? Peace is not because of our sinful inclinations of earth. Peace is of heaven, and there is really no hope for peace except for the peace of heaven. But, once again, Jesus has made the impossible possible by coming in the flesh and bringing the peace of heaven to earth. And that's why St. Paul says of Jesus, He is our peace. The only way peace is possible in this world is through Jesus Christ. Peace belongs to heaven. The only one who can bring that peace here is the one who comes from heaven namely Jesus Christ, the only Savior of the world. When mercy truly overflows, when mercy truly overflows, then there is peace. Because the superabundant power of overflowing mercy means peace. And without that superabundant mercy, there can be no peace. It's interesting that Jesus, as we will celebrate next Sunday when he rose, always greeted the people saying, Peace be with you. I have brought the peace of which the world is not capable to you from heaven. Peace be with you. 
but that peace can only be received from my Father through me. There is no other true path to peace. And so let the mercy of my Father, which is displayed on myself, in myself crucified, let that mercy overflow. And that is our mission to the world every blessed day. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall have mercy. And so for ourselves, it's Holy Week. I'll bet just about everybody here has already made a good Easter confession. But if you haven't, there's still this week. Because mercy can only overflow from you if God's mercy has been experienced as overflowing in you. You can't give the mercy of God to others if you don't have it. And sometimes somebody needs mercy from us. Sometimes we find ourselves just unable to forgive from the heart. We can overlook, but we don't really forgive. That's because our own knowledge of the mercy of God is not strong enough to get us over the obstacle, whatever, they, whatever it is, to forgiveness. There cannot really be Easter in our hearts if we are not experiencing the overwhelming forgiveness of God himself and then passing it on to all those whom we need to forgive. Easter is the season when by God's own power of the resurrection, grudges have to be healed. Bad feelings have to be healed. Easter is the time for that. If Easter doesn't mean that to people, then Easter doesn't mean much. Easter is about mercy, and mercy is about peace. So symbolically, today we place our palms at the feet of the Messiah as he enters Jerusalem. We place our palms at the feet of the Messiah as he is present to us on our altar, let us in our lives place a merciful soul at the feet of the Messiah. That's better than a palm, and that brings to life Easter in the heart of all true believers. Praised be Jesus Christ. Yeah.